Hi Maeve, I'm Hannah. I'm gonna be performing your Reiki session on you today. Have you ever had a Reiki session? No. Okay, so it might bring up some feelings. The energy might feel a little bit poked and prodded and disturbed. So let me know if anything's coming up that you wanna talk about or lean into or lean away from. But otherwise, I'll just have you close your eyes and I'll start the session. Starting with a sense here. Working both from afar. I'm used to my touch because I do work on the body. I want to start with some gentle vibrations, just to sort of bathe you in them and get the energy to start to move around and open up because it's a little bit slow and a little bit tired. Just going around the different energy points. feel these vibrations, not just where I'm waving them, but all throughout the body and in, sometimes in different places that are connected via these energy points. There's sort of a wash away that outer shell, that slight coating put up against the world. The energy actually seems really receptive. It just seems very unsure. So it makes me think that you're very open to this experience, but the body just isn't recognizing what's going on. The energy is a little bit like, what are you doing? I use a higher frequency here, shorter wavelengths. into some of those cracks and spaces. Do an initial sweep. Picking out a few pieces here and there. here in the throat chakra. Not too bad. It's really linked to this heart chakra. I can feel it sort of going back and forth, pulsating. So I think there's probably something you've needed to say or wanted to say that just haven't been able to work up the courage to let your heart lead into that throat chakra.
Not necessarily just something you want to tell someone, but maybe even something you want to admit to yourself. We're going to sweep the other side. here. Just finding one little thing. There we go. Get rid of that. I can tell you're a very empathetic person. You feel things very deeply. And it's all on this meridian path of between the throat chakra and the heart chakra. It's really something that you've been wanting to do or say, but you can't turn in from sort of dream to passion to actual action reality. But the energy is ready. The energy is saying it's ready. behind you. All just blocked up right around this area. I'm gonna rub you with a gem bag here. So 
So this one in particular, I'm just gonna remove the jade. I don't think you need the energy. Mostly working with clear quartz for clarity. Really wanna try and open up that mind's eye and that path forward so you can move on to the next step in life. I apologize if I mess up your hair in this process, but it's more important that we get the energy worked out than we can brush the hair later. <laughs> vigorously now. I'll place this on the head. Is that okay, the weight of that? Mm -hmm. Using some salt stones to clear the air and try and get rid of any of the pieces that we flung off here. They don't just always dissipate. They can try and grab back on. They're going back into that same familiar pattern. We want to make sure that we really refresh you, leave you with a little bit more openness to be able to make some of those decisions and follow through with some of those passions. Cleansing you with some flowers. Our lilacs. It's a very fragrant plant, very light, airy. And we just want to bring some brightness and lightness to the body. As I mentioned before, I could sense that you're a very empathetic person, which is good because. You truly care for others, but it also 
means that you take on a lot of other people's energies and it weighs on you pretty heavily. You can't just shake off if something bad is happening to a friend or family, maybe not even a stranger. across the stomach. Taking a slight break from the energy work here to just sort of give you some recovery time. I'm going to be just doing a light massage, some squeezing of the head. I want to make sure our bodies are as relaxed as our mind. in the ears. I'm going to do a little bit of reflexology on you. So I've got just a little reflexology stick right here. Moving down just to a point at the chin. right above the lip under the nose. I work my way in the scalp here. I want to use my selenite wand here to get a sense of what direction the energy is flowing in now that we've done some work and see what other type of shifts we need to do. So it's basically just going to be held above your head. We'll start with the crown chakra and work our way around. So it was just going in a circle, that was just how it was being held, but immediately I'm getting this side to side motion. So, okay, we need to do a little bit more work here. It's like you're being pulled kind of in two different directions. So you wanna try and bring that together. And all of this feels very connected to me. Slight movements on the scalp, on that crown. Trying to bring the energy together. It's about creating some balance in my own energetic movement by moving some bracelets.
creating an energy vortex right here above the head. Trying to direct all that energy that's been stuck to flow out freely. Obsidian, just because of the restarting, the resetting. Can I see your hand, please? Clasp up. Actually, no, it's not. It's not working well. Let's try the white turquoise. Yeah, that feels better to me. The energy is reacting more positively to that. Sense the energy. I'm just gonna go very slowly. Paying okay, particular attention to the throat chakra. Feels a little bit more open now. Not completely, I think it'll take time. you've been holding back it's just been so long that the the energy doesn't really know 100% how to flow freely it's gonna just take practice to learn just like it would take time to learn a physical skill repetition that muscle memory it's the same thing for energy for energy memory going to close off our session with some gentle humming and vibrations just the way we sort of started the session very cyclically except for instead of the tuning forks I'm going to use my own energies okay
before you open your eyes, I want you to look up with your eyes still closed at your third eye. Now look down side to side. Now slowly open your eyes. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Do you have any insights that you're going to take with you as I am based at all with what I said? I think so. Okay. Well, think about it. Let the energy process this experience, but I'd like to see you at least a few more times to really work into that, um, that aura. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.